During the season of Epiphany, the lectionary offer us many stories of call, and those stories are sometimes intimidating for us because they seem to imply that we are called to make huge sacrifice. Uh, sometimes when we hear call, this idea of calling, what comes with it is deny yourself, uh, take your cross and follow me, uh, leave everything behind and, and follow the Spirit. Um, so in today's, in this week, text for the lectionary. It's the beginning of the gospel according to Mark. It's when Jesus called his first disciple. And what is interesting in uh, Mark's gospel is the rhythm. It's very, um, there's a quick, quick pace, I would say. That. So, um, for example, in the gospel according to John, uh, a lot of word, a lot of long discourse, what it's called the uh, Jesus farewell speech in the Garden of Gethsemane, three long chapters. Well, Mark is more, Jesus this, this, and then Jesus said that, and then Jesus went there. So it moves very rapidly. Jesus walks by the Sea of Galilee. He sees Peter and Andrew casting a net into the sea, he tells them, follow me and I will make you fish for people and immediately they drop everything and they follow Jesus and then <laughs> next line next next verse Jesus see James and John calls them and they leave their father in the boat and they follow Jesus that's it and we read this today and we sense that this is kind of extreme behavior, uh, almost irresponsible, uh, not really thinking about it, uh, trying to discern, very popular words of discerning your call. No, it's bing, 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 bing. And it's strange for us because sacrificing one's life um, based on only a few words is not necessarily something that is popular and and common but the question we can ask yourself is what if it's not really sacrifice um these men peter andrew uh, james and john and all the other disciple men and women that followed jesus after saw something in jesus something so appealing, something so exciting that they want to join. And this is maybe where we can relate. Um, sometimes we hear about a new project at church, uh, at work, uh, a group we belong to or someone have a special endeavor and we hear it and the first thing that comes to our mind is Wow, wow, that's that's amazing. That's cool. Where can I sign in right now? Or can I write you a check right now to or or what can I help to help you? And and we know we know for experience that it might take us some of our free time, some of our asset, or or maybe some adjustment in in our lifestyle. But it does not seem to bother us because deep down we feel that this is the right thing to do. This is a good project. This could make a difference. And that's the basic of Jesus' call. He says, well, the kingdom of God, this new world, this new reality in which it will be different, a reality of love, of justice, equity, respect, well, this reality is at end. And he said to the disciple, he's saying to us, come, be involved with what part don't you like? And that's what we often feel. What part don't we don't like about, about equity, about justice, about dignity, about respect. And it does not have to be a big change. We don't have to leave everything behind our, our spouse and our job. 
we, that we can do everywhere we go, wherever we were, whatever we're doing, and regardless of our profession or resources, we can be part of this. Yes, it seems quite sudden, but maybe what we're missing here is the excitement, the attractiveness, this profound desire to make a difference, and we can do it in our own way. And that's what I hope you will find this week for the coming, for the rest of your life, finding ways to make a difference, finding ways to say, ah, that's so amazing, I want to join in. Thank you once again to for your presence. I remain the lectionary man, Reverend Stéphane Vermette, and until next time, take care of yourself, and bye-bye.